we had just just a magical morning mm -hmm. on the water with the kids. Everyone caught a fish. We had the best time. Wow. And I kept saying to, to my son, thank you for pushing us to do this. It was something that I hadn't thought we would do, but I'm so glad that we did. So Monday comes. Yeah. What kind of day is, is Monday? It was time to pick up my little one from summer camp. So I jumped on my e-bike, which I ride every day mm -hmm. and get the kids on every day. And <laughs> the next thing I remember, I was being loaded into an ambulance. Neve never made it to pick up his son from camp. Before he could get there, he collided with a truck, breaking his neck with an injury that usually results in patients never being able to walk again. That I had a neck injury with nerve damage and spinal cord damage, but just millimeters away from par paralysis. It's so hard. I'm so scared. He spent six days in the ICU unit and six weeks in a neck brace, slowly recovering. In the days following, as I was recovering, it dawned on me and my wife how special that Sunday morning had been and how close I came to that having been my last Sunday morning to have done something like that with my family. You were training for a marathon prior to the accident. Obviously, plans changed. I remember, I didn't text or, or really talk to anyone for that first week in the hospital, but my first text was to a young man named Francesco, who I had run the New York City Marathon last year with. Woo! Here we go! Neve had run as a guide for a blind athlete named Francesco in last year's New York City and Boston marathons after getting connected to him through the organization Achilles International, which provides support to athletes who have disabilities. Neve was planning on doing it again this November for the 2024 New York City Marathon. I texted him and I said, Francesco, I don't think you should count on me. And his response was incredible. He said, no, let's see how you feel. I think you'll still be able to do it with me. I'm out here with Francesco. We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. And because of him and his encouragement, we'll be crossing the finish line together. With their last training session behind them, the two men are ready to take on the 26.2 miles this Sunday. And Francesco believes this will be the most special marathon they've run yet. I'm grateful that we're both healthy to do this, that we're both here. And I think the more we get to raise awareness for whether you have a disability or not, like just overcoming challenges and obstacles, I think that's just very special, very impactful. Wow, that's an incredible Ooh. recovery right there. The New York City Marathon, by the way, produced by New York Roadrunners, is this Sunday. I've done it. It's, it's my great. favorite. Me too.